Hello, this is Moodle Chahabi, and this is our 15th and the last video of our Adobe After Effects course from scratch. In our previous video, we've talked about the presets, how to create and how to edit a preset. We've talked about the pre-compose. We also went through a website where you can download free templates and how to personalize them. In our video today, we will see how to install a free plugin and how to use it. 10 useful animations or behaviors for either logos, textures, shapes and texts that should come handy to you. Now without any further ado, let's start. Those are the samples we will have in our plugin today. Here's our plugin, it's called Squash and Stretch Free. Obviously it's a free plugin and you can find it in Adobe Exchange website. Here you can find the plugin info, either the size or the publish day. And this plugin works for either Mac or Windows. And it works for 2018 versions and more. Here is more info about the plugin if you are interested in reading more. If you want to download it from Adobe Exchange site, I will leave you this link in the description below. That will be required an Adobe Creative Cloud account. And you gotta have this application open while installing this plugin. If for some reason you don't have a Creative Cloud account, or you don't even want to open this app, I will leave you another link down below to download this plugin. After unzipping the folder, open it, open the scrap motion folder. First thing you have to do is to install this application. This is here a ZXP installer. For After Effects plugins or scripts, you will need this application. Double click in there. Then agree to the terms and conditions. Then give it a minute to finish the installation. Now it's completed. And if you noticed, the plugin installation icon here has changed after installing the ZXP installer. Now just double click on the plugin installer to install it. If you got that message, just click on continue. Now you are about to install Squash and Stretch Free. Now the installation is successful and it also tells you the plugin path. You can find it from Window, Extensions. Now let's go to After Effect, go to Window, then Extensions. And you will find the squash and stretch free in there. Just click on it. Seems like there's an update for the plugin. Install it if you want to. Here you can find all the behavior gallery. If you clicked on it, it will open a window for you with all the available behaviors. Let's try here the third behavior. Just click on it. And you will get this window. In my timeline, I have a logo or a PNG picture. I want to apply this behavior on it. 
note that your behavior will be applied wherever your timeline indicator is so I will move it up to 3 seconds and click on apply also note that your layer has to be active and selected once you finish if you press on new from the keyboard you will see all the keyframes in this animation and also you can see it in the effect controls panel now you can notice that some of your animation has been applied out of your composition area and I can control this issue from those two sliders here however before you make any changes you have to delete the old behavior first or go control Z I will reduce the percentage here a little then click on apply I still see some of the paths outside my composition how to fix this I will go again control Z move your logo to your left a little bit as the behavior needs some space to the right to move then click on apply now we see all the animation path and that means it will happen within your comp you can edit the animation from those sliders however before you do so just make sure you remove all the old keyframes or go back control Z then you can hit apply again another thing here if you want to reset the behavior to its original values just click on reset here the plugin offers you a couple of sounds that you can use however you can always import your own sounds and just add it to your timeline another cool option in here those three icons here give you more options either to flip your behavior horizontally or vertically or to rotate it now if you want this behavior to come from right to left first I will go control Z I will take this picture to the right a little bit and I will just choose flip horizontally also reduce the values on those sliders then hit apply now you see the animation goes from right to left another cool option here first icon to the top right behavior tree view it shows you all the behaviors they have if you try it hello wiggle you can see the animation example in here that's better than opening the behavior gallery this plugin works for logos pictures or texts too if you want to apply this on a text let's try zoom and rotate select the behavior then click apply here it says that the layer is not selected select your layer then hit apply again now the plugin is asking me if I want to do this behavior on the whole sentence as a whole or to each individual layer and the choice is up to you do you want the plugin to treat the sentence as a picture or you want the plugin to treat it as individual letters I will click OK to separate my letters now the program will pre-compose my letters or my layers now the plugin is done with this behavior you can see that each letter is being animated separately same way and same concept go for the rest of those behaviors they are cool behaviors cool animation that come handy to me a lot of times that was our video for today and that was the end of this adobe after effect course from scratch we've went through a lot over the past 15 videos we start from scratch start with the introduction to the program the difference between after effect and premiere pro the interface creating a composition we've learned a lot of animation either for texts or logos 
we started a lot of keyframes, how to use them and how to control them. We had a comprehensive video on the alpha mat and the alpha inverted mat concept, as well as the luma mat and the luma inverted mat. We've went through the 3D concept using the camera and the lights. We made masks. We removed the static and moving objects from video using masks. We had another comprehensive video on 3D camera, null objects, depth of field, difference between camera lenses and which one is suitable for your shot. We've went through best rendering options, how to render fast, how to get a transparent background video. We explained every effect in effects and preset spanner over three videos. We've also talked about expressions and how to use them and talked in more details about time expression. We've talked about how to create a preset, how to edit a preset, the pre-compose, and a free website where you can download free templates and how to edit them. Today we have seen how to install and set up a free plugin and how to use it. 15 comprehensive videos for After Effects, a total of 5 hours videos. You should be able to master a lot of areas in After Effects after this course. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in along the way. That was Moodle Shahabi.